8.1c, Drawing in Different Scales. We can use one centimeter grid paper to draw a rectangle with a scale of each one centimeter representing a different length. The other length could be greater or less than one centimeter. It could be one centimeter to one millimeter. That means each one centimeter length is really just one millimeter. We could have one centimeter to one meter, or one centimeter to ten feet. We could even have one centimeter to ten centimeters. The scale could be the same units, or it could be different units. For this lesson, we need to remember our formula for area. Area is equal to length times width. The scale for this rectangle is one inch to five feet. That means each one inch length is equal to five feet. It represents five feet of length. If we have four for our length here, four inches, we multiply it by the five feet and we get it's equal to 20 feet. This side has three inches. We multiply it by the five feet. We get 15 feet. The area of the actual rectangle in feet would be 20 times 15, it would be equal to 300 feet square. If we just did this, it would be 4 times 3, which would be 12 inches square. A scale drawing of a playground is drawn on centimeter grid paper. The scale is 1 centimeter to 4 meters. If we redraw the rectangle on the centimeter grid paper using the scale 1 centimeter to 8 meters, 1 centimeter in the new scale will represent more than in the original scale. The playground area original scale is 1 centimeter to 4 meters. We have a 10 for our length, 10 times 4, that would be a 40 length. We have 8 for our width, that would be 8 times 4, that would be 32 width. The playground area for the new scale, we have one centimeter to eight meters. We would do five times eight, which is 40, the same as before. And we would do four times eight, which is 32, the same as before. The measures of each side of the new drawing are half the original. Four is half of eight. So the measurement of each side of the new drawing is half the measurement of the original drawing. Here, we've got 10. Here, we've got 5. Here, we've got 8. Here, we've got 4. 5 is half a 10, and 4 is half of 8. We can write and simplify the new scale to the original scale. Since we're going new scale to original scale, we have new scale on top, to original scale on the bottom. We have one centimeter to eight meters over one centimeter to four meters. We can divide this numerator and this denominator by this one eighth. We get Remember, when we divide fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal, so we're going to flip this around to 8 over 1, and now we're going to just multiply these together. We're going to get an 8 over 8, which is 1, same numerator and denominator. Down here, we're going to multiply this 1 fourth times 8 over 1. We're going to get 1 times 8 is 8, over 4 times 1 is 4. We simplify this to 2. We know our ratio is 1 half. It's 1 to 2. So the ratio of the smaller drawing to the larger drawing is 1 half. 4 is half of 8. 5 is half of 10. 4 is half of 8. See? Since area is in square units, we can find the ratio of the area of the small drawing to the large drawing as one half 
squared, or one half times one half. That's equal to one fourth. This means four small drawings fit into the larger drawing. Four small drawings can fit into this larger drawing. This is one fourth of the larger drawing. Using parentheses around the half means we're multiplying one half times one half. The exponent affects the entire ratio. Without parentheses, the exponent only affects the numerator. We would have 1 times 1 over 2, which only gives us 1 half. So it's very important when you're multiplying half times half, we need to put parentheses around that fraction to show that that exponent is affecting the entire fraction. Otherwise, it's only going to affect the numerator. We can find the actual area of the playground. Each unit of one centimeter represents four meters. We have 10 units. We multiply that by the four for the four meters, and we get a 40 meter length. And we have eight for our width. We multiply that by our four meters and get a 32 meter width. Area is equal to length times width. We have 40 times 32. That's equal to 1,280 meters square. Remember the two exponent for meter square because area is in square units. Here we have a rectangle with a length of 12 and a width of 4, and it says the scale is 1 centimeter to 5 feet. A rectangle drawn with a scale of 1 centimeter to 5 feet is redrawn with a scale of one centimeter to 10 feet. Each one centimeter of the smaller drawing represents a greater amount than the larger original drawing. Four small drawings can fit inside the area of one large drawing. Four small drawings can fit inside of the large drawing. The ratio of the area, not just the ratio, it's the ratio of the area of the small drawing to the large drawing. So here's our two. That's going to tell us small drawing is the numerator, large drawing is the denominator, is one to four. One small drawing in is four in the large drawing. Our ratio of the area is one to four. We read the colon as the word two. Here, a scale drawing of a garage floor is shown. What is the area of the actual garage floor? It's telling us the scale is one centimeter to two feet. Each one centimeter in the drawing represents two feet on the actual garage floor. The actual garage floor area would be 12 times two so the length is 24 feet, and our width is 9. We do 9 times 2. That's equal to 18 feet. We know the formula for area of a quadrilateral is length times width. We do 24 times 18. We get 432 feet square. It's in square units, so we have our two exponent. The area of the drawing the length is 12 centimeters and the width is 9 centimeters. We do 12 times 9, we get 81 centimeters squared. We're finished with 8.1c. We're going to go to the last part of the lesson, which is way in the back in the going further section. We're going to be using a scale to compute area. If you are confused about simplifying the new scale to the original scale, just go back to this section and watch, again, how we divided by the 1 eighth, which means we multiplied by the reciprocal 8 over 1. And if you're confused about finding the ratio of the area, go back to this section and watch that again. Remember your parentheses around the entire fraction to show that the entire fraction, the entire ratio, is affected by that exponent. Have a great day and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.